Good evening, and welcome to Current Issues. I'm your host, Hisham Tilawi. Well, ladies and gentlemen, tonight we will be speaking about uh, the media, news agencies, and politicians, and you. A good news agency is one that is that you will find them there when news happens. They will cover the news as it happens. They will cover it and cover the facts of whatever took place. A bad news agency is one that covers it maybe late, maybe on time, but it lies about what happens. And then the very bad news agencies are those that try to lie about it and cover their lies. And the most horrible one of all is the one that tries to manipulate your mind to think that there is something out there that is not. And presented to you as newsworthy, presented to you as facts, presented to you as something that is actually taking place. That is the most horrible one of all. And as a matter of fact, the one that won that prestigious award of being the most horrible news agency is the Fox Network and it's Glenn Beck, especially Glenn Beck, and all of them as a matter of fact. We're going to show you what Fox Network is doing to help these bastards control this country, to help these bastards hijack our politicians and hijack our country. Listen to Glenn Beck, how he's brainwashing you. David, um, last week I went and did you, did you think I was kind of nuts when no. I first, no? No. Uh, okay. I, I You're talking not, about him exactly uh, right. visiting okay. Israel. Um, because we, I, we traveled with somebody who thought, you know, in fact, most of my staff still thinks I'm out of my mind um, that we're going to uh, do this. But it was a powerful experience when we went um, last week to Israel to try to find the place yeah. um, of, of where, we will, where we will do it. Um, what was it that you um, took away from that trip? Uh, it's, uh, I, I don't know how to say it. It's a, there's a couple places I've been in Israel that when I get there, I really feel like I'm on holy ground. It's really somber. You just keep your mouth shut, you keep your ears open, and you keep your heart open. And that's what it felt like on the trip, is this is really significant. This is literally a potential world-changing event. It's not a small thing. And I really felt the weight of that as we were looking at venues and, and places. I, 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 there's just, I'm absolutely convinced the way you treat Israel, especially what Israel is facing right now, is the dividing line on anybody of faith, period. I said on the radio today that I think that... Um this is almost like, uh, you know, closing time. Yeah. You know, it's it's almost like the Lord is like, okay, last call. Anybody really, or is anybody hearing me? Anybody hearing what I've been saying? Your life has been out of order, and why don't you check the writing? Because it, it says clearly, if you stand against, you'll be destroyed. That's right. Okay. Let me say stop it. About this if you stand against, okay, so stop the video. You see how they're playing with your brains and they're brainwashing you? That guy's saying, oh, it's, it's, it's an event. You know, okay, now, right then, they got you into your faith. They got deep inside your faith and they're playing with it. And then you get um, Glenn saying, last call. The, the world is going to end. Now he is prophet Glenn Beck. You know, they're playing with this guy, Glenn Beck. They are playing with him and using him. When they want him to be with the constitutionalists, they, he is with the constitution. When they want him to, uh, to attack FEMA, he is attacking FEMA. When they want him to, uh, to go with the tea uh, partiers, he is a tea partier. When they want him to be a preacher, a John Hagee type, rapture type, you know, the guy that a couple of weeks ago said that the world was going to end, that's the same garbage. Yes, garbage. They're playing with your faith. They are playing with your faith. And they talk as, oh, closing call. Who's coming? And then at the end of that, did you hear what he said? 
I want you to play that back just like about 10 seconds before Glenn Beck uh, actually uh, ended his statement. I just want That's people to hear. I want people to hear what Glenn Beck closed with. Do it now. Anybody really? Or is anybody hearing me? Anybody hearing what I've been saying? Your life has been out of order, and why don't you check the writing? Because it, it says clearly, if you stand against, you'll be destroyed. Okay. Check the writing? What writings? Did he go to the Wailing Wall, and that wall told him the writings on the wall? You didn't catch that, did you, when he first said it? The writing? Check the writing? That if anyone stands against will be destroyed anyone stands against israel will be destroyed that's exactly what they want you to think that's exactly what they want you to think because most of you they're playing with your bible they're playing with your religion they're playing with your faith and you start thinking well, wait a minute now if they're wrong if they're lying to us i'm safe but if they're not lying, oh my God, God is going to destroy me. If I stand against Israel, I'm going to be destroyed. Well, yeah, you're going to be destroyed, but not from God. You will be destroyed by the Zionist if you are a politician. Or if you have a career somewhere. You said something about Zionist and the Jews, you're going to get fired just like Helen Thomas did. They cannot fire me. They cannot fire me. Because I don't get paycheck from nobody. If you stand against, you will be destroyed. That's the kind of filth, lies, deception, fake news analysis that they're giving you. The writing on the that's Fox Network. It's supposed to be a news agency. That's supposed to be a news agency. It's not supposed to be like, come on. Millions of people watch. Millions of people watch. And millions of people believe the garbage that this man is saying. Continue. Let me say firstly about this business of being crazy. The prophet said, Mishuga Isharuach, a person who's crazy is a person of spirit. Because you know it's the crazy people who are the iconoclasts. They challenge the status quo. I wish we had more crazy people like you who are standing with us. Uh, Jews very often feel isolated. They feel alone. So we need friends. And for you to stand in Israel and to say that we are with you, I think is very reassuring uh, and is something we should uh, be grateful for and thank you uh, for all that you are doing on our behalf. I think honestly, okay. it's, it's now, honestly. Now, this, this I mean, guy is a rabbi, the one that was just talking. You're watching a movie, ladies and gentlemen. You're not watching real. You see, your brain from all these reality shows, you really don't know what you are watching these days. This is supposed to be a show, a real show, not just a reality show that is being orchestrated by somebody because all these reality shows, they're very much, yeah, they're realities, but they are orchestrated. But this is supposed to be a real show with real people, not actors, real people. That was a rabbi. Now, do you have any idea what this notion about faith and about the last days and about the closing days, last call that Glenn Beck was talking about? He was talking about like prophecy in the, old, uh, 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 in the last days when the Jews are supposed to be converting into Christians. That rabbi, how come is he still a rabbi? How come if this is the closing days, how come he's still a rabbi? And he said, oh, we need more crazy people like you. Yeah, they do. Because you got to be crazy and nuts to believe in this stuff. And they do need some crazy. But you know what? Glimbic doesn't believe in this. Glimbic is enjoying the fame, the money. Glimbic will not be one second in front of that camera if he says anything different. Glenn Beck should have just went, he should have looked the other way from, did you see where he was looking like the Dome of the Rock? 
He was pointing at it. He should have just looked the other way to see the wall, the apartheid wall that Israel has put around the Palestinians. Or those are not children, God's children. They're not. Why didn't he go just two steps away from wherever he was and he will be in a refugee camp to see those refugees that after 63 years they have been living in a refugee camp. Go see him. But he can't because he will not last one second with Fox Network. That's the kind of garbage that you are being subjected to. The final days. You know what? Jews are laughing at you. Because Jews, if they believe in what you believe in, they will be, they will be, they will be Christians. They will convert. But they don't believe in that. They just want your money. They want your support. Stand with us. Oh, we are alone. Stand with us. You're not alone. You have the United States Army, Navy, Air Force, Marine, the proud, the few. They're with you because you force them to be with you. Because you got their politicians by the neck, by the balls. Because that's probably where their neck is. Okay? You got these politicians, so you got the United States. They're not standing with you. You're seeing the hatred. Politicians hate Israel. Politicians hate Israel. Many of them said this. Many of them. Even those that very much signs everything to Israel. They hate them because they destroyed their humanity. They made these politicians liars. They made these politicians sell their soul to the devil. Yes. Because they know the only way they can become politicians is if they sell their soul to the devil. So they got your politicians and then they get you with Glenn Beck. Lying to you. Don't let Glenn Beck lie to you. Don't let Fox Network lie to you. Don't let the Jewish media lie to you because they are lying to you. And you, as a citizen of the United States, you are a citizen of an occupied country. You are a citizen of an occupied country just like the Palestinians by the same people. At least the Palestinians see the Israelis, see the army. You don't. You're occupied politically. Our politicians are occupied. They're not just being paid for. No, they're occupied. That's all for us. Good night. We'll see you.